Hello everybody, this is Tarina. I am going to go ahead and I think I'm going to get started on the inserts and everything for my planner. Now, um, honestly, I am kind of, I'm really excited about being able to use my new products and all the goodies that I collect from my new planner, <laughs> along with my new planner, $4 at Hobby Lobby. Yes, it was empty, but hey, four bucks is four bucks. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm missing the silver, like in the metal, in the metals, like the rings and everything. I, that means this is probably an old planner, but I like silver in my metals. I like gold and I like rose gold as well. I like I like pretty much all of them have a place in my life but I have noticed that I cannot find anything that has silver on it or that's made specifically with silver and that kind of makes me sad I think you know I understand on trend stuff but man that's hashtag bring silver back because I like it and it goes really well with a lot of different papers that are out there nowadays so um I am going to go ahead and let's see, see what I can do with this. I have no idea what I, you know, no pre, I don't want to say this. I don't have any real plans other than knowing that this is kind of how I want my monthly layout to go. And I'm not even here yet. <laughs> so, um, I do have, let's see, this is the set that was in my original planner, um, my first planner, which is this one here, I did this, um, yes, I could technically just put them right in here, but I'm, I'm ready for a change, I think, I'm really liking the documented collection from Close to My Heart, and so, um, I just, these are like, you know, for the most part in great condition so um, I'm g I think I'm gonna put these up in my shop on my Facebook page and if you're interested in them like the only thing that I could see that would be you know concerning maybe is this little tiny bit of usage right here but other than that the I mean they're in great condition in fact I think that's the only page oh no the back page has a little bit of it but um, these could be used for quite a while. So um, you might check that out and um, I'll try to have these up within the next week. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on here. And yes, I have, I've gone through my stash and kind of collected all of the <laughs> things this is the box that the planner actually came in and I like it it's got cute little polka dots on it I don't know if you can see the side of it without me losing stuff um, but I'm collecting all kinds of stuff I've been collecting all kinds of stuff and I'll tell you what the Dollar Tree has some really really nice stuff um, however um, let's see I'm going to work with these for my inserts now these are going to be like the they're polka dotted. I don't, I don't know if you can actually see that or not. Maybe if I stop moving. There we go. You can see the polka dots on them. Um, this is what I'm going to be using. And I decided since I'm doing a whole, like, I'm using a whole sheet, I'm going to actually use the leftover of the sheet for my second page. And technically, I can use this two full pages and then have this as kind of like a tip in kind of um, I was thinking maybe meal planning would go on here or something I'm not sure if I want to you know mix my um, work and home stuff quite yet um, we'll see I kind of seem to flip back and forth between them all so um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in here I've went ahead and used my um, I printed these out on, let's see, it's Nina Bright White, I think it's, let's see, 96 pound, no, 65 pound, uh, weight, and it's 8 and 8.5 by 11, I just got it at my local, local, um, oh, 
I think it's Office Max. It could be, it's not Staples, it's Office Max. Okay, so anyways, I printed these out. You just look up um, dot grid paper. Um, you can print those out from there. Um, and then I just went ahead and used my, um, I don't even know what brand this is. Anyways, it has the different sizes of planners on here and I just went for the A5, which is the size of my planner. And then I just stuck it in there and made my holes. For those of you who aren't familiar with that part of planning. So, and it fits perfectly. And I, I man, I love that. <laughs> I do love that. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this up for a bit while I work on my um, papers. Inserts, I'm not sure what you call them now. I did pick this up. I love this. Um, this is gonna go in my other planner though, because it's got it's gold. I wish they see that's what I'm saying. Is I love that this they have stuff like this and you can cut it down and make a you know a page in there, but it's gold and I want silver. And I did look for silver and no I couldn't find it. Ugh. I forgot it was gold. Okay. So this is the documented collection from Close to My Heart, and um, I did a, a flip through of this um, in my What's in My Box video. It's the last video um, that I uploaded about a week ago, I believe, and I have just, I love this pa paper here. It's like, it's kind of what, it, what has inspired me to do this whole... Uh, planner in this paper. I love this this paper right there. Um, but yes, we have lots of different papers here. And in each pa pack, you get two of each paper. So that's awesome. Nope, last one. There's one more after this. Yeah, you get six. Six. I don't know what you get. You get six two paged uh, pieces. So you really do get a lot of papers. And then you also get two. Um, pocket pages. My mojo is just not with me today. Um, I have three because I got one in my um, seasonal expressions launch, launch kit. Um, and so I'm happy with that too because then I can use them on multiple things. Um, this would be great for Thanksgiving as well. Just fall in general. But yeah, you can see they all go well together. I mean, I would totally put them in a different you know, like, um, organized differently just because I'm picky about my colors and patterns and sequence and all that kind of stuff, but, um, which is what I, one thing that I'll be working through. Um, I'm pretty sure this, um, planner, um, process is going to be kind of a multi-part thing. I don't, I would, don't want it to be too long, but I, kind of wanted to show you guys my steps, especially when my mojo's gone, where I, um, where I s jump off from and kind of, I don't know, where I take it because, you know, every, all of us lose our mojo sometimes and the best way I've found to get into it again is to just <laughs> dive head first. So here I am. Um, and I'm thankful that you're joining me. So, um, I'm not sure which one I want to start with. I'm thinking maybe just find a good, I don't even know how many I want either. Hmm. Let's see, I like this one. I guess I'll just pull out the ones that I really like. Uh, let's see, that one's got, because these are double-sided, so I want to make sure that whatever I have, I like both sides of. So, I know that I like this one. 
which has the green on the back, or juniper. That's not, that's not juniper, is it? Peacock. Peacock. Mm. And I'm thinking I like this one. I'm not much for like the mustardy color, which is, okay, I'm gonna have to cheat. See, here's my little cheater spot here. It tells me all the different colors in there. Let's see, this would be probably nutmeg. Nope, saffron. I'm not much of a saffron, or I would call it mustard <laughs> color um, person, but I like the purple. And I do love the bows, they're really cute. And I can pretend that they're, oh no, I can't pretend that they're gold because I'm going with, with silver, huh? Okay, I normally pretend that they're gold. However, they are not, they are saffron. So, let's see, we've got three so far. Um, and I'm thinking, let's see, I do, I do use like, quarterly kind of stuff so maybe three is just fine maybe that's all I want to do hmm I'm wondering if maybe I could do like say I did this one on the front and when you open it up it's this and then I can do the front of the next one in the same paper and then, nope, I won't, then I'm gonna just have to use all that, so that's not gonna work. So, I don't, I don't know, these two colors, these two papers go really well together. I didn't, I, I'm not that much of a fan of this particular piece. I like this one right here, this strip, the strip where it's got the lighter background. I really like that, but not so much on this one here but it like I said it really does go well with this here so let's see and then when I flip that over it'll be that one and then let's see I just I don't know about those together I guess I won't really see it hmm. well together too actually because those are the same colors I think I might do that now you could totally bring in um, cardstock to go with it because all of these have coordinate if you um, are familiar with close to my heart all of these uh, colors have are coordinated with their pa color palette so um, I could do that I could definitely do that just don't know what I would want to bring in. If I brought in anything, I'd probably either bring in the eggplant, the um, the peacock, or let's see they've got blossom in here, but I don't know. I don't really want to bring in pink, like that color of pink. See, I like the these doors. They're, these are the two colors of doors, and there's the blossom and the um, bashful. But I'm really kind of leaning towards the eggplant color. Like the eggplant and maybe the green, which is New England ivy. And I really like the peacock color as well. And um, I think that's charcoal, which I'm kind of digging. Digging. Huh? Can you tell, guess my age from that? <laughs> um, this is a hard one. think I don't know I was just I got distracted I just looked over and saw this cut apart piece and I'm thinking that would be a great play a great piece to put on one of these and have a quote um, about uh, doors being opened for you or you know something like that that's I like that idea 
uh, knock and the door will open. Um, or, you know what I mean. There's many quotes out there about doors opening for you and I feel them. I do. I really do. Um, gee. Gee whiz. I'm not sure. And I'm really kind of stuck on this. This, this part does usually take me ages to do. Hmm. Yeah, not so much. I think I'm just going to go with this one because I know I want it. I like this one and that one and I like that one. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just go with these three. Now I can use any of these in the decorating of it too, so that's one good thing to remember. Okay, so let me see, I think somewhere here I have it written down as the size of my planner. So let's see, a A5 size is seven and a half by nine and a quarter. It's kind of fudgy there, but I'm going to go ahead and cut that size. Make sure that I want to cut these in the right direction. I don't know that I'm the... Okay, that one's going to be easy enough. So we've got seven and a half by nine and a quarter. Hmm. I'm going to have to open that up. That just seems huge. There's no way. That's like the size of the actual planner. Okay. See? Real life. That's what happens when your mojo's when your mojo is crooked. Alright. I'm gonna just measure this. Look at that. I was totally off. Okay, so here we got say five and three quarters. It's more like, I don't remember what that one is. Five. I don't know. Like I said, my mojo's not quite here. So my brain is not quite, not working quite right either. Okay, so this is just over eight and a quarter. So let's try that. Just over eight and a quarter. I totally should get that on there because that was my purple. My eggplant. And then just over, there we go. If my brain was working right, I would know the sizes because I know the sizes. <laughs> I just have to um, get them, so look at that, that's the same size, perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and do these others, let's see, uh -huh. this one, I definitely want going this direction, so I think I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, we got to do, oh, this is proving challenging for me. We gotta go for our wider, just over eight and a quarter. And then our five and, I don't remember what is just over three quarters. And look at that, we have a second one. And this one, okay, this one. I totally go this direction, but I think I'm, 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 I'm leaning towards north and south. Let's see, so we need to do... Ooh. Today is rough, my goodness. Okay, so 
So let's go for eight and just over a quarter. And then I'm going to see if I can count up from here and go to just over five and a see if that works. I don't really want to cut a whole entire thing this way. Let's see. That. that should be right. Fingers crossed. Alright, look at that. That was right. Okay. that done and I am actually kind of feeling like I do need some cardstock in here I'm thinking, I'm kind of thinking, I like, no, I don't like, huh, okay, no need to switch it all up on us now, huh, okay, so there's that, I'm going to, let's see, what do I want to do next? Now that I have those done, where do I want to go? I'm thinking maybe some paper might help. Um, okay, so this is my cardstock combo pack. This is my basics. Um, you get two, I believe, of each sheet, and there's ten colors in each. Um, thing so I could totally choose any of these that I want. I don't know if I want to do that, but I've done it now, haven't I? Okay, so we've got our cool colors and our warm colors, and this one definitely has. Let's see what it's got in there. I seriously just need to trim this off and like post it up there so I can see what I'm working with here. I need my color list. So now I've got my color list. There we are, and those are the featured colors for the collection. So now I'll actually be able to remember what things are. Now these ones are new, and they just came out with the new annual Inspirations catalog. And that is actually going to be retiring soon, so um, I will leave the lunk, ooh, the lunk the link below to my uh, Facebook page. I have a list of all the things that are retiring. So, um, let's see, we got almond, bashful blossom charcoal, and nutmeg. So nutmeg, I'm assuming, is gonna be one of these. I think it's this really rich tone. I just don't know if I want yeah, it is. And I, d I don't want that one. I don't want to highlight that color. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go with my charcoal. Which is this one. And it matches that one. So... At least I think that's charcoal. Could be mistaken. And this could be charcoal. That definitely looks more like charcoal to me. So... Um... I don't know. I don't know, but I like that color better. If I were to actually take some time and like study them like a test, 
<laughs> I would be able to remember which ones are which. Um, but that's not really my style. It's just kind of going through and trying to remember randomly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut another one of these. And I think it's going to be... It will be more for like my wish list and just random things instead of like my monthly things. If that makes sense. So we were just over five and three quarters. And you know, I could have totally could have done eggplant as well, which may just add that in there if I can figure out what I did with mine. I I'm still working on organizing my cardstock, so ah, see that goes well. Like that. That is definitely not charcoal. That one is charcoal. That's okay. I like it anyways. See, I like that. I don't know if I like that, but I like that. And I am definitely feeling one more. So I'm gonna dig down here. Where? And go for my eggplant. Hmm. In there. So I have a pack that has a lot of papers in it, and I'm pretty sure that I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is that? Uh, it looks like eggplant to me. don't just get close to my hair uh, stuff. I get a lot of other products. In fact, I get most of my products are other uh, others as well. But I do love close to my heart. I mean, it's their, uh, their the way they're organized makes creating so much easier it's so much less stressful and um, takes a lot of the pre-thought out of it. So, like I could have spent 15 minutes going through all of my papers to, you know, to find the right color that matched it. And I didn't have to do that because I already know what colors match it, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm kind of liking that. I'm digging that. What do you guys think? And that definitely brings in some uh, of the cool, or warmer tones in the back, which I like. I mean, it's cool tone purple, but it's it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm not sure I'm putting that either. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to use my hole punch. And I'm going to cut these out. Now, because I took so long trying to figure it out, I am totally going to have to do a part two. So I'm going to try to have like part two um, right after, like within a day or two after um, part one. Just because I don't want you guys to have to wait forever. And if you want to watch it, you know, right after, then you're welcome to do that. Um, so let's get started on this. I'm not sure how many of these, because they're thick, how many I can, so, um, how many I can punch together. Let me finish with the cohesive thought. There we go. Um, so this clicks back and forth and I have it, the little arrows on A5. So that is exactly what I'm looking for. Now, um, you want to... Just line it up with this guide here, and it will cut the right. So that did it perfectly. See, like that. Um, I'm also going to be doing my um, tabs, and that is a little bit more tricky. So, let's see, Let me make sure that's all lined up. 
and that's three pieces of cardstock. So on that one, and look, they've all lined up perfectly. I love that. Okay, so I am done with that, and it's also got a catch, which obviously some of them pop out, but um, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Let's see, um, I want to do my, the tabs, let's see, the last time I did my tabs, I did, um, my Spillbinders tabs, and I did the smaller one here, and I'm not sure which one I want to do this time. I'm kind of, let's see, what am I leaning towards? I'm kind of leaning towards this one here, actually. I don't even write on my tabs, so I'm not sure <laughs> why I need tabs, but it just feels like it's complete with tabs. So, I'm still going to go with this. Okay, so this is um, Creative Page Tabs is the name of the spell, spell, the die set, and it's from Spellbinders. And let's see, we're going to have one, we're going to do five of them, right? That's how many pieces we have. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring over my die cut machine, which is my big shot, and my die, and papers. What do we want the tabs to be out of? Um, I, I am kind of thinking I like this one. I'm kind of thinking maybe something like that. Or just, um, maybe I'll just do one each of these colors, and then I'll have that, ooh, idea, idea. If I do one each of the patterned papers and then put them on there, I can use the backs, which is going to be perfect. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the, yeah, I'm not going to do the... Okay, if I can actually get a word out. Um, I am not going to use the cardstock. Okay. So hopefully I can get this done at quick like so I don't have a really long video. Now I'm trying to think, I'm kind of wanting to make sure that it is on a lighter color. I'm going to try to do that in the center there. Like so. Of course. I've had these plates since I've had the the machine and my machine is is really old. Like I've had it for probably upwards of 9 years, 10 years, something like that. Um I went through a lot of moves with me, which is how it got all tore up here, but it still works great. I don't know whether I've been taking care of it right or what, but and there it is. There's my first tab. I love this tab set. It's awesome. Um, and then I'm going to do another one because I'm going to use the back side of this one for another tab. So I think I'm just going to push it right up against the other one and then push that back through. Um, while I'm doing this, I do want to um, give a shout out to those of you have, who have ordered um, Close to My Heart through me. I really appreciate it. It, um, it really helps me because I get commission off of what you purchase and that helps um, us pay bills. And so um, it really helps me feel like I'm contributing to the family too. So I want to say a big, huge thank you um, to those of you who um, are technically supporting me. So thank you very, very much. Um, okay, so there's tab number two. I don't even remember what I did with tab number one. It's somewhere floating around here somewhere. Okay. Anyways, there it is. Okay, so we now have two tabs, and I think I need to, let's see, 
And we will go for this one here. Hmm, I'm thinking I might want those that way. There's one thing to consider when you're actually cutting your tabs, which, which way you want your design to be. Um, I generally don't pay attention to that, and then I end up cutting, having to cut out more, and then I end up with a whole bunch of extras. So, that no, I don't end up using. So, let's see, we've got one there, and then let's see if we can get one out of that. That'd be awesome. See how close we got to this one. Oh, by a hair! Look at that. That is just tiny. Ha. But we did it. We did it. Okay. So now we have four tabs, and we need one more because I believe I have five. So we're gonna go ahead, and I'm just gonna trim off. I can find me a pair of scissors. Gonna trim this off. I'm actually cringing inside. I don't like cutting paper with scissors, like when I'm doing a trying to do a straight line, because I know <laughs> I'm not getting a straight line. But that's okay. I survived it. I survived it. I just know that I can cut it with my paper cutter or paper trimmer, and it will be straight. And I know it will be straight. I totally should turn that sideways, huh? Oh well, it was my last one. And there we go. So now this one I can choose whichever side I feel looks best. So, yay. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my box just in case I end up adding one or needing to recut one. And I'm gonna put this away. I do have a spot for that right next to my uh, space here, so. Okay, so now we get to figure out which ones go best on what and in which order I want them in. Okay, where'd you go? There you are. And I think the way I do that, let's see. Um, kind of liking that one. That one, and I like that one, which I want to do that, and I just kind of like, um, let's see, the order of these it doesn't really much matter at the moment. This one. There we go. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I could totally like turn these ones around. Like do that one on there, and then this one on here, and this one on here. I just don't know if I like that. Yeah, it's not bad either. Okay, so that's what I'm going to go with, and then, let's see, then we're going to have to do, let's see, do I want, start at the top, oop, drop something back there, top, and then this one will be next, which will be like so, oh, I could, yeah, I was going to say, I could totally change that up to where it's, So it's pretty darn close to where it needs to be. 
as far as, let's see if we can just line these up flat. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and adhere the one side down and then, or I'll fold them. Maybe I'll just fold them first. Now there's probably an easier way to do this. I just have yet to figure it out. You could totally trim those off too if you wanted. I don't particularly care what where it's at. I just want to make sure they're fairly even. Like so. Okay, so let's see. What do I want to glue with? I think I'm going to go ahead and use Okay, so I could totally use liquid glass, I could use my ATG, um, but I want it if, because I'm going to be using it with my hands, I kind of want it to stick pretty well. So I'm going to use the Zig two-way glue, which we have in our Close to My Heart um, repertoire. Um, I don't know if it's Zig now, or if we've got it from Zig, we just, they, we got them to... Um, put it in our, or put our, like our brand over the top of there, you know, on it, which I'm not sure exactly, or maybe we just found the manufacturing people to do it for us, that makes the same thing, so, okay, so I know that this one goes at the top, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on at the top, and I'm just going to glue that down and it sticks and then it just adheres itself and it works out perfect. Then I can fold it however I want it. And I think I'm gonna go ahead while I'm here and do the bottom one because I know where the bottom one goes. This is turning out to all be almost an hour and I'm hoping you guys are still with me. I, I love the idea of fast forwarding through it all, but I'm also love the idea of being in real time because it just, I don't know, it feels more personal to me. Okay, so I'll go ahead and line that up like that. I think I'll line all of these up like so. And we'll get these placed where we need them. Come on, come on, up. There we go. I actually kind of like that. Ooh, that's, I don't like that one, but I definitely like that one. I'm just gonna stick with what I had. Just gonna do it. I think it overlaps just a little bit on each one. Yeah. Okay. So I know that how much it overlaps, so now I'm gonna go ahead and This on here, and line that up, and just let it overlap just a tiniest bit. And I know that it's overlapping a little bit because of up here on this one. And that works out perfect. <clears throat> we'll line this one up with that one. And 
get some adhesive on it. Moving everything around. I'm trying to hold everything down. Okay. Reline that up because, you know, I'm good at not taking time like that. There we go. And just a little bit of overlap. And adhere down. And that should be perfect. Now for our last one. I am totally thinking this is going to be an hour long, and I didn't mean it for it to be an hour long. I guess I just talked too much, huh? Okay, so let's see. This one, get some adhesive on there. And then just a little bit of overlap. stick it down and that's perfect just like that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and fold this over line it up with the edge here and I'm gonna grab my bone holder this one's from close to my heart I love this one it's a great shape it's kind of really thin upper line upper and bottom lines but not thin enough that it'll scrap you know damage your papers and it's got a nice point on it. So I just fold it over, add some adhesive, stick it, and I now have my first tab. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish these. Um, hopefully you guys don't mind the uh, time that it takes for me to complete this. I love having you guys on my journey with me. Um, feel free to leave comments down below. I will get back to you. I um, love hearing, seeing your comments and uh, talking with you guys. If I could go live, I would. I, I'm, I'm, our internet is, our internet and my computer are kind of in the hurdles I've got to get over for that so um, aha second tab done <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe I can try uh, doing my phone like using my phone oh I didn't even notice that that's kind of cool looking and it's even the right direction Ooh, crazy completed for you guys. Um, I, say, I think I have that one upside down. I think I'm going to try this. I don't know if it will work, but I'm getting lazy. Put this over. Should be able to be folded right here on that line. Down. There we go. That actually worked, so I'm going to do it again. Adhesive and fold. Did I mention I love this adhesive? Okay. This is pretty easy. It's pretty easy to line the tops up, so. Okay, and I am done with that one. So. Um, I'm not complete with because I like to decorate mine like my other ones that I just sh that I showed you at the beginning. So um, this is what I have so far. This is going to be part one, and I will walk you through this. Hey.
I just love how it all coordinates. <laughs> I do. Okay, so um, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I would love to have you um, with me. Crappin' it and crap, crappin'. <laughs> Scrappin' and uh, paper craftin' and mixed media and all, all kinds of things. So um, planners and of course I like to try all kinds of things. So um, I'll have all kinds of random things, some close to my heart stuff. Oh, box opening videos, project shares, I mean all kinds of things. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I will see you guys in part two. Have a great day.